I'm gonna miss you, boys. Mew. You know. Come here, Gengi. Gengi, come. Come here. Gengi, come. Come here. Don't you want to say goodbye to me? Come. Yeah, good boy. Come here, Gengi. Yeah. Bye, <laughs> Good bye, Papa. I'll see you in two weeks. You'll see me when? Two weeks. Two weeks? Seven days. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and thus my adventure to Boston first to catch up with Rachel and then Rachel and I were going to travel together and go to England. This adventure, it begins! Landed. I'm gonna go find Rachel now. Picked up my luggage and then after that I went outside to find her. This audio got really really loud so it basically is just me going Rachel and her going Savannah and then running towards each other. <laughs> That evening, there wasn't much that happened. We just watched The Last Unicorn, relaxed, and then got ready for our flight the next day to England. Soups? Salads? Spirits? Spirits? Craft beer, wine. Salads? Sandwiches? Mother juice? Mother juice? Starbucks? Starbucks? I am filming you. What is that? <laughs> Oh, good one. Yeah. Then we met up with the two other girls who were going with us from Boston, Lisbeth and Kelly. And they were great and I love them so much. She's serving so much. Hi. What is bleep out everything? <laughs> You're going to have to. I'm so sorry. We were stuck on the tarmac for a while. But we had a good time. We quickly realized that we're all a bunch of goobers. And so we're just joking around the whole flight. <laughs> Look at all of these poopy brothers that we all are. <laughs> poop. 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 Poopy. <laughs> poop. <laughs> we're all in our 30s. <laughs> we kept ourselves busy with a lot of drawing games like the three line game and close eyes draw Batman. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. And there's spill all over myself. <laughs> Very classy woman on my jet the blue flight. My wine stain. Mm. Right smack in the boobalus. It's nice. Tuck that in there. No, you can't see it. Cool. What? 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 Oh, what? Stain. There's nothing there. <laughs> so, my um, teacher at SCAD taught me about a game called Close Eyes Draw Batman, where you close your eyes and you draw Batman. <laughs> So we all closed our eyes, and we drew Batman. And now we're gonna close our eyes and draw Pikachu. Close eyes, draw Pikachu. Oh, close eyes, draw Pikachu. So it's a sequel. Channel. These are the ears. Color in the ears, and then the eyeballs, like this, and the nose, and then the cheeks. And Pikachu is gonna be like. Pika Pika! Ash! Pika Pika! This is my this is my body. Luckily I've had a lot of practice drawing Pikachu throughout my years. Yeah. Wow! That's pretty good. <laughs> it's a little work that we can take. Chunky Pikachu there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Me too. <laughs> I 
ended up doing a lot of these. Close eyes, draw, characters, Spongebob, Powerpuff Girls. We did a bunch of them. <laughs> we didn't know how we would deal with the six hour flight, I think it was, but it actually went pretty quick because we all kind of got along really well and just were a big bunch of idiots. And before we knew it, we were in England. Hey, you guys, we're in England now. We're in England now. We in my mom's car. Welcome officially to Savannah's dog count. Dog one. <laughs> right there. We had to go directly from the plane and take a train and go from, I think we were at Heathrow and go all the way three hours north to Ulverston, which is where we were going to be staying for the next week. The train ride was super duper pretty and I just loved seeing the English countryside with its rolling hills and there were sheep everywhere. No matter where we went, there were sheep. And it was just, it felt like I was in a movie. It was gorgeous. Finally arrived at our Airbnb, which was this beautiful, beautiful place called Stone Cross Mansion. The interior of this place was so gorgeous. Although the funny thing was the rooms are super duper modern and not as elegant like like the interior of the nave or whatever you call this part. Unfortunately, that evening and into the next day, I got really bad food poisoning. <laughs> so I was just laying in bed, literally trying not to throw up for most of the day, just sleeping and feeling kind of super crappy. But luckily, I did have a nice little spam call that kept me entertained for like a good half hour. So you're saying you found um, evidence that I was shipping out packages under my name, Tanya, in Texas. Yeah. And they all, all had drugs? Yeah. Cocaine. Cocaine? Uh, seven. Yeah. How many, how many cocaine packages were shipped out? 85 pounds. 85 pounds of cocaine? Under the name of Tanya, my name. Yes, oh my gosh. What do you have on 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 there? Yeah. Okay, that's my address. Yeah. So you're saying okay. that they're all coming from that address is a ton of cocaine. Does it say where it's going? Do you know where it's going to? What does the what does the address say on there on where it's getting shipped to? But do you know where it's going to? Does it say where where the cocaine is going to? Against you for drugs trafficking and money laundering. 
Yeah, I mean, that sounds fair. But here's the thing that's kind of, like, uh, weird to me. So you said that it was getting shipped to a place in El Paso, but there was no one there? Yes, yes. But they weren't there. They weren't at the location to get it? Because, like, I'm, I've am i shipped out a lot of packages of cocaine in the past, and they've always arrived at the location I wanted them to go to. Okay. But I've shipped lots of cocaine before. I haven't had any any alerts saying that I've shipped cocaine in the past. No, what's not me? I I haven't shipped the. I'm alive. I'm not dead anymore. No, yesterday. I'm alive. Oh, one of these branches like caressed my cheek. I was like, oh. take me out to dinner. <laughs> Next day, I was much better and I felt like I could actually do things again, which is great. So we went into the local town, I guess, which is Ulverston, the local one that's nearby our Airbnb and decided to just explore and have a good time, meet this cute little kitty. I think her name was Bubbles, which is very cute. And yeah, we just browsed and prosed. Hi, Rachel. I'll just about to put you in my video. I was gonna put you in my video. Hi, Savannah. Hi. Hey. I was gonna put you in my video. I'm gonna put you in my video. Well, well you're gonna be in my video first. Well, okay. Well, <laughs> well you're gonna be in mine first, so. <laughs> so I said I was first. Yeah, I was first, and then you're second. You're a copycat. <laughs> Whatever. Hi, we're in a graveyard. Just chilling. Yeah, we're in a graveyard, just, just chilling. Hey, I said that first. <laughs> Hello. We're getting ready for our first, well, my first shoot. I think it's Rachel's second one. But we're gonna be like nymph goddesses, but I guess I'm a 60s lady one. This wig I got from Stevie Rosalie on Instagram and it's really, really great and it's a lace front and it's really pretty. And I love it and I want one in every color. And I got it initially, oh. Who's that? Oh, shoot. I got it initially for my other shoot that I'm doing, but I felt like it would go well with this one. <laughs> we drove 45 minutes out to a little forest area that has a really pretty waterfall, but unfortunately the waterfall was blocked off because of like a, a bunch of trees that fell down. But we made do in the river below and, or creek below, I guess I should say, and it still turned out really pretty. Look at these adventurers! Oh, look at them go, They're climbing the mountain! Oh, wow! After that, we hiked back down and went to a tiny little pub that was nearby, which was really, really cute, and they had a cute doggy there. And we just all had drinks and had a really fun time. He's like, guys, watch this. Guys, look what I'm doing. <laughs> guys, look what I can do. Did you see that? Did you see what I did? I walked down there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, man. That was really cool. <laughs> The 
rest of the evening on the English countryside looking at all of the sheeps and the horses and then we headed back to our Airbnb to get ready for the next day. And the next day we went to a really, really stunning, gorgeous castle in the Lake District, I think it was. It was just magnificent. Hi hey, ladies, we're hanging out, getting some snackies. Oh yeah, hell yeah, dance it out, dance it out. Oh shit. Oh shit, look at you go, oh shit. I bet you won't see her ankles. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh no! This castle was built between 1840-1847 and it was built by the Dawsons. He was a surgeon and she was an heiress and the money came from her family. They were um, merchants in Liverpool and so it, was, it came through trade. Oh, dang, the mutton chops, though. Oh, I want the same to be here. We got to see a bunch of photos of Beatrix Potter and this man who was doing restorations with a tiny paintbrush, which I really liked. And then Rachel and I took photos around the castle. I did my selkie shoot from the video previously, and we also shot her Ever After stuff. We had to be goobers along the way. The next day, we went to Windermere. It was Rachel's birthday, and so we decided to celebrate by Kelly, Liza, me, and Rachel all going to Windermere and going to the Beatrix Potter Museum. Hi, Mistel. Hi, Mistel Mia. Can I come over here? I'm just gonna sneak by you. Hi. Hi. That's so cute. Oh, cute puppies. Hello, puppies. <laughs> Sorry, they're so cute. As you can tell from the dog cam, there were a lot of dogs here, which made my heart very happy because they were a lot of cute pooches. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. What you got there? After a quick stop at a pub for some food and drinks, we headed over to the Beatrix Potter Museum. Once upon a time, Oh, we're Pomeranian dogs. Are you Beatrix Potter? Those are not Pomeranians. What? Listen, I'm not nor ever was a Beatrix Potter girl. It wasn't anything that I grew up reading or was interested in. But let me tell you, I went to this museum and I walked out like a Beatrix Potter fangirl. This was the cutest museum in the entire world and I'm a hundred percent here for it now. We finished up and then got ready for the next day which is us going to Chatsworth. <laughs> oh.
do doing? <laughs> I don't have my camera, so we're gonna have to film from my phone. We went to Chatsworth, which I think is where the 2000s version of Pride and Prejudice was filmed. I don't know. I don't know anything about Pride and Prejudice really, but this place was stunning and all of the ceilings were painted and I'm not gonna lie, it seriously inspired me to go and paint my ceilings, which I might do because I mean, look at how extra this is and I'm 100% here for it. But yeah, this place was beautiful. We took really fun, pretty photos. And then we headed to our last leg of our trip, which was London. But first, I had to act like a dummy. Um, I got up to 60%. Okay, cool. Should be okay. Sweet. Oh, it's so cute. My hair is a mess, but we made it to London. I think you look fantastic. We're all going, we're gonna get food and the park. And my my camera's not that in there. Dog cam. Oh, you gotta dismount. Dismount! Oh no! What the fuck? Then Rachel got to meet up with Bernadette Banner. And I got to meet her too. She's very, very sweet, which was really fun. The menu was really cute here. And then I got to meet up with my friend Andrew Hickenbottom, who is a 3D modeler and character designer at Hasbro. We got to go to the Lego store. I got some stuff for my husband. And then I got to try Coco Curry for the first time. Then we got lost in London's Chinatown looking for karaoke. This place is awesome. It's so pretty. Just like me. <laughs> but we finally found one and we kind of had too much fun. <laughs> you. What is wrong for me? Yeah, Hello? it's for you. I want you to do your what best, a best world? impression. What a wonderful world. I've been singing Yeah. 
After that wild night, <laughs> Rachel and I needed a little bit of quiet time, so the next morning we went outside and did a little bit of painting, a little bit of drawing, some landscape en plein air type stuff, which was very nice and much needed. <laughs> Paddington Station, transfer over to King's Cross, St. Pancras, and then there you go. Okay. Alright, well, we'll follow <laughs> the you then. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Oh. It was our last day, so it was a shopping day. We went to Collective, and then we went through, I think it was Camden? They had a bunch of vintage shops there, which was really fun. <laughs> Why is it so mean? Why is it so mean to me? There were a ton of really cool shops here. Like a ton of vintage shops, small shops, you know, just independent stores. Just like, I don't know, I couldn't even go through all of them. I just had to quickly walk through because we were on kind of a quick schedule. But oh my gosh, I feel like I could spend hours here. There were so many different kinds of fashion too, like not just vintage, there was like club wear and gothic stuff and just like so many different kinds, which was really, really cool to see. Obviously, Rachel and I we're obsessed with all of the vintage stores, but unfortunately we really couldn't go into a lot of them because by the time we were able to get there, they all closed, which is a bummer. And for our last and final night in England, we went to Mr. Fogg's, which is a really cool pub they have like multiple different locations and they're all different aesthetics and this one was like the explorer aesthetic I guess and they're kind of like this Victorian mishmash vibe and it was just it was like the coolest bar pub thing that I've ever been to in my life and I'm really upset that we don't have them in the States because I feel like they would do amazing but everything was so well done. The menus were gorgeous. The drinks were super interesting. I had a bunch of drinks. They were all delicious. There were some weird ones, like one that tasted like cheese and broth and onions, which was really weird. But the rest of them were really good. I had like a matcha tea one and yeah, they were, it was such a cool place. This was the matcha liqueur one. And then I had another one called the SS Savannah cause I had to. trip came to an end. I headed back to Boston and then from Boston I had to head back to Atlanta. Last leg of the trip. Woo! <laughs> we flew 
from England to Boston yesterday. I did not film anything because frankly, I'm tired. <laughs> and sleepy. I'm sleepy in the evening. I need to be sleepy. And so I didn't film anything because I just, we just watched movies. We watched Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. We watched uh, we, uh, Wolf, Wolf Walkers. Walkers, which was very cute, by the way. And we watched Weird. Weird the Weird Al Yankovic documentary, which I've seen three times now, but Rachel hasn't seen it, and Kelly didn't see it, and also every time I watch it, it makes me like pee my pants laughing. So, that was basically all we did. Then it came back, and then I stayed with Rachel, because I still have to go to Atlanta, and then we thought, anyway, there, okay, that's it. That's all I have to say. So we're going to get bagels. Because bagels. <laughs> we've been craving bagels the whole time we were on the trip. Yo, England. Sincerely, what the fuck? Yeah, literally, here's some things England doesn't have or no. I just don't understand. First thing. Engl uh, bagels. No bagels. A lack of bagels and breakfast sandwiches. Fuck? Yeah, no breakfast sandwiches. I mean, kind of they had it, but it's not the same. It's like sausage on a plain roll. Yeah. Um, also, marinara sauce? Do you, uh, I guess you guys don't have that either? Because anything that I got that I assumed would have marinara sauce with it did not. Which was very confusing for me. And then... Yeah, not a lot of salt. But that's okay. Seasoning in general. I kind of liked the idea, like, things were way less sweet and way less salty, but a part of me did like it because then you can kind of really control how much you're you're putting in. What say you, Rachel? I agree. <laughs> Rachel loved beans on toast, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, that's it. Now we're going to get bagels, and then I am going home, and I can't wait to see my husband and my dogs and my bed. <laughs> I miss my bed a lot. <laughs> The whole trip came to a close. I hope you enjoyed this very, very long vlog, but I hope it was entertaining. And yeah, I had such a blast. I had so much fun. I met so many new people, made so many new friends, and I really want to do it again in the future. And yeah, it was just such a great time. And I really want to thank Rachel for inviting me. Elizabeth for taking amazing photos and just organizing everything. I want to thank Sam for being the most gracious and helpful host and just kind of bringing us around everywhere in England and, you know, organizing a lot of stuff as well. And everyone else who was part of the trip, thank you so much for being so kind and welcoming to me. You guys are great <laughs> and I had such a fun time. That's it. Okay, goodbye.